Hey guys, it's Bina, and welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we headed into the uh, Clearly Forest and uncovered the lot of different superpower things. And also, Globox is a bit creepy. And this part, we are continuing with the Clearly Forest. Camera didn't catch up there. Globox, you are literally hiding in the middle of the fight. Um, also, that is the last uh, teensy in the level. Somehow, I got all of them. I mean, I, get, I don't know if they, if they were really hidden. So we're in a bit of a darkish cave area. We've got some red lums if you need them. I don't know. Because I'm MLG. This is kind of interesting. Uh, boss fight going on. Yeah, I know. Because... Oh, oh, he's not making noise. So anyway, so I don't know the name of this dude. But basically, you have to stand on the little uh, blue thingos. And that spawns the a rocket in the middle. So grab it, aim it. The, the power-up disappears immediately, by the way. Which means you can be like what I just did and not actually get to pull it off. And it's, it's not the easiest fight. In fact, I think this is... <laughs> oh my gosh. He does that as well. He, he just crushes you and then you, uh... You could not see that, but I was basically smush. It's a mean fight. This is a mean fight that comes out of nowhere. And you're just like, oh, jeez. Like, look at that. Look at that. You just gotta, you just gotta lure him, like, out of the area. There you go. There you go. We got this. We got this. We're golden. Going for him. Go. No. Hey, there we go. He only takes three hits, I believe. Unless that's four. But. <laughs> and it's weird. There's a ridiculously long boss bar, and it's only three hits. It's like, yeah, great. Sweet game. Music's nice. Oh, I hit him in the leg. Nice. I could technically f fire another one if I really wanted to, but like, there was, there was no time. Nope. He crushed me. I'm, I'm smushed right there. Get up. Get up. I don't know why it wasn't getting up. Alright. Hopefully, we can get this. Before he gets me. How about we move, like, way off to the side here. There we go. Hey, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> so they're being a little bit cheeky on this one now. By spawning enemies on the thing. The enemies do give points. Alright. I'm guessing this is how you grind for points is just do this. It's probably a finite limit. No! I I stood on it! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. You can't really do anything to hit him otherwise, so it's just going around. But it's, it's, it's interesting, like, after all they've done, and now you've got, like, an actual kind of... I don't know. Oh, you... Thanks, Perspective. I'm showing my age by playing a 3D game poorly. That's what, that's what I've got. Alright, come on. Drag him off. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's do this. Info.kill! <laughs> so we defeated him. But the boss isn't over just yet! Guys, here comes some more hoodlums. We got this little... This... Sorry, it's not little, it's pretty big. 
We've got this huge thing. So this is a kind of interesting ish fight because you're just smushing. You're just smushing them. If you can build your combo up really well, by the way, this is this is a great place to, to get those combo kind of rankings. I love how they're also kind of like smushed at the, at the end. I don't know if that's blood, I wouldn't think it is. Just, just go around, just get them all. Ah, oh, get back here. This isn't the easiest thing to steer. Let me tell you that. Turn it. Come on, get that combo. No, I didn't get the combo. That's alright. Man, that just spread out like all, all heck. Come on, get him. Yeah. And with that, that was a pretty cool fight. So yeah, so that's basically the end of this level. It keeps going for a little bit. But here's, here's the doctor. So hopefully, we'll go through here and we'll give him a hello. Yeah, I, I, I'm the best, apparently. I don't know if the 100% is actually getting 100% of the things that give you points and not just, it, it's regardless of the combo. So anyway, before we get in here, there's guys kind of everywhere. So let's leave ourselves in a vulnerable position in the air. This is actually probably the hardest, like, part. And th this, is, this is where I come from more the shmup kind of area. So there, I can, I can talk. Um, this, is, this is what I mean by the game is a little bit more of a shmup than, you, than you'd think. Anyway, Globox just goes straight for it. So anyway, so this is the doctor's office. Uh, but there is one last little goodie that we can get. And I do... I, I read this one up before I uh, started recording. But I didn't remember where it was. I'm going to say it's tucked away because, like, really, where could it be? Not in there, no. Uh, da, da. This is when you do the uh, cut to the right thing, and then it's like, oh, look, I did it all along. Hmm. You'd think there'd be like a switch. Ow! <laughs> Duh! You do take a hit there, but hey, that's a nice little goodie to get. So anyway, that's basically it. Into the thing we go. Into a full motion video cutscene. That that the humor is pretty slow on, to be honest. Some black 
Clones has taken a refuge in a fistula by going through a kidney near a spare paper. He will need to consult a stomach specialist. I know a very good doctor who lives in the land of the living dead. I'll leave you now. I must go clean my instruments. So now we've got to get to the land of the living dead. But first, we must auto save because this is technically the loading screen before loading screens. With another one of these uh, teensy highways. Now, I can't guarantee I'm getting all the thingos on this one because I didn't practice this one. Whoops. Again, I love these sections! They get kind of interesting because it's because it's on an angle. It's like ooh. Oh, oh. Here, here is uh, Blendy D screwing everything over. Ooh. There we go. I did. I didn't even get the first one. Dang it. So it's kind of interesting because uh oh, there I am going for the wow back here. Okay. There I am going for the for the uh, gems and sucking so bad. This is what the entire video is dedicated to me sucking. And the worst part is that, like in these sections, you don't lose any health, which means the only thing that really fails you is you just taking too long. Hey, I got it this time. Without just casually dying before, I'll I'll do things like pretty well on a first attempt. This is this is a trend that I've noticed in the way I play. I'll do things pretty well the first go, and then I will screw things up a lot of times like early on. Which is why I should get in the habit of not second like guessing where I'm gonna land. Jeez. People watching this are just going like, oh my gosh, you can't even highway. You can't even highway. That's terrible. That's dreadful. Anyway. And we'll just drop down low. There we go. Hopefully, one of these kicks in to a checkpoint. Oh, you notice the platforms are starting to fall. And that. Oh, ah, I missed the gem. Oh, and I missed the platform as well. Even better. And there was a gem on the other side. And I just noticed like the way they laid it out. There we go, gems. Yeah, gems. Oh, oh, eh, oh, oh. I don't think you can see these things from underneath, uh... Again, loving the backgrounds, man. It's great. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why did it drop me way lower than it should have? Okay, oh my goodness, dude. Dude, everyone... I'm sorry guys, I suck really bad. I half blame it on the fact that I haven't played this game in seven years, we'll say. But, yeah, let's just say I suck. I feel like I've got to jump early when I hit these. So I have the height. Also, moving platforms? Just, just being even worse. Here we go, okay. We're getting there. We're not sucking now. We're doing alright. Let's go low. Yeah, all the gems were above. Dang it. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> I don't have a lot to talk about during these parts. But, for the most part... I guess we'll say there's a bit of a... I don't know. Wh who in the design room was like, we need to break up the action with a bit of a skateboarding-ish section. Loving the background here, Woo! And then I died. So I re- Oh, I reset right there, yeah, nice. 
die several times at the part that doesn't, <laughs> like, at a long checkpoint. I'm missing all of them gems. So here's the end. Oh, snap. So what that's supposed to kind of represent is, uh, me dying. So we gotta do the drop. What's, supposed, what's that supposed to represent? Is that that's supposed to be the end, like where the land of the living dead is? And then here comes Rayman falling. Oh, no, there he is. Yeah. Dude, I still got 100% despite the fact that I died a bajillion times and I missed like tons of gems. I don't know what you're on. <laughs> so the point is, yeah. Rayman. You little peepee dog, you should be ashamed! Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you! I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to. I don't want to hear about it, go take your filthy hands somewhere else! You That is a very interesting introduction to the third level of the game. No, oh, pick that up. The third level of the game, uh, the uh, Bog of Myrrh. Which we'll get into next time on Rayman 3. Uh, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And, uh, yeah, basically, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!